Good morning. Today I am doing the week of the 6th of June, 2022 through the 12th of June, 2022. And I am going to stop share and I'm going to reshare. And you probably didn't even notice this because uh, it is becoming obvious to me that my screen and I've got, let's see, there we go. Okay. So today I am bringing us the Moonly or Moon Deck. And um, why am I doing this? Well, we're getting ready to have a super full moon on the 14th, which is going to be the following week's podcast for the full moon and the weekly forecast. However, this full moon that is coming is actually worthy of a little bit of note. It is a super full moon in Sagittarius that's coming. And as this builds up, this is a time to manifest. This is the moon of manifestation, Sagittarius, luck, Jupiter. So I've decided today to go ahead and bring you the moon deck as well as we're going to read a little bit from the USA, the signing of the constitution versus the transits. As I believe that we're hearing a lot about, oh, well, that's constitutional, this is constitutional, that's constitutional, as if we're, we're really stuck and, and, and fixed and need to follow the, the pathway laid out for us many years ago, which is no longer appropriate for us, I don't think. But where do we go from here? Well, I think that's the beautiful truth about where we're at with this full moon that's coming on, is that we're about ready to, as a people, really start to define some different paths forward for ourselves. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to pull my microphone a little closer. So in case that I'm not clear enough, I don't like to be. Sometimes I've had some podcasts in the past. As those of you who have stayed with me all this time know where my volume wasn't very good. And part of it was my computer was really bad. I guess I didn't know that. So at any rate, so today it starts out play is my pathway to joy. Now, why might that be? Well, when you let go and you allow yourself to, to embrace joy in life, you, you open yourself up to realizing that life isn't, doesn't have to be so serious, right? And I think right now where we're at is a lot of us feel like we are in a situation where we, uh, we, we, we feel like it's so darn serious. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this in, no, I don't want to put it in slideshow mode because I don't think it'll, it'll show you, but play is my pathway to joy. And we're using the moon, or moon deck. I want to call it moonly. I don't know why, um, but you can see that she's very carefree that, you know, she's kind of hanging out and by hanging out upside down, it's kind of like being the fool um, or let's see, which card is it in, in, tarot that i'm thinking of oh the hanged man where you're or you're allowing the blood to rush to your head and things to occur to you so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull in the next one um and then i'm going to go screen share and we're going to go ahead and go to the next card okay and then we are all sisters let me just make sure that that actually shared i don't believe it did let me get back to my and <clears throat> what happened here okay i guess we did okay no we didn't okay so we're going to stop share oh new share okay let's multiple let's see advanced sharing options multiple participants okay no there's so much i need to learn folks um, stop share. And then we're going to go to share screen. And then we're going to share. All right, here we go. I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. And what does that mean? Well, I, I make my, I make my bed and I lay in it. We all do. If you 
set out in life and you think that you are going to somehow magically live beyond what's realistic at this time, think again. And, but yet if you, for, for instance, I'm at age approximately 59, I decided that who I am and what I'm meant to be hadn't come together. So I left what I knew in lots of ways. And that wasn't difficult for me. I have a lot of um, energy in my chart where that says I, I'm willing to transform when needed. And I've been so sick that transforming is really what I have available to me. And I continue to struggle physically. And part of it is my chart. Part of it is Venus conjunct Pluto in the uh, eighth house, trouble, trouble, trouble in Virgo, medical, 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 right? Sex, death, rock and roll, my middle name. And, but I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. What does that mean? Well, <clears throat> it means that if I choose to, I make things happen, not, not based upon what someone else might have in mind, but my core desires, my essence. And that is largely, I believe, what we're going through is we're being asked to connect to our essence, to get back in touch with our inner selves. And I saw a post yesterday and I responded to it because I found it to be interesting. The, the, the person was feeling like there's no hope and, and that we're, we're at our core, not, not good. And I actually believe just the opposite. I believe at our core, we're quite good. And I believe that we've been told via messaging through children's movies, media of all types, that we're basically bad. And as a result of that, we subconsciously feel bad, we act bad, and we act upon things that create a formula where we continue to act bad. So here we are, not really understanding ourselves. This is asking you to go back and look at your essence, go backwards, look at who you are and what you need. And we're going to stop share. And I know this is going to be uh, kind of redundant or kind of silly, but okay. So we're going to go on to the next card where I love this card. Collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into my world. What does that mean? When we work together as a team, we make progress. And right now, where are we? We have a system that it's like it's become a system of gangs, right? We've got one, we got the red side or the red bandanas or the red ties. And we got the blue side that wears their whatever. And then probably we have a little fringe side, the independents, you know, that maybe like me that don't, you know, we, you know, we're liable to, you're liable to see us all over the place, right? Thinking all kinds of different things, because at least we're willing to think outside the box, the red and blue box, which we all need to. If we don't think out of the box, we're not going to, we're not going to change our circumstances without changing the way we think. And so collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into my world. It's up to you to decide just like me. I wanted astrology. I, I, you know, eight, 12, my birthday, August 12th, right. It's kind of funny, but the foundation, the, the inf infinitely wanting something 12, the Zodiac the 12 houses. I, I, I was personally quite well geared to do this. And I was born at 343. Okay. Which means, you know, collaboration, uh, creative, bring it to me in a way that, uh, that is solid, right. The four corners of it, that, that has all the, that you've ticked all the boxes. Oh boy, we got something to work with. We can, let's go. Right. And what I've learned in these past two years is that life isn't what you, you sit back and wait for to happen. Life is what you go out and make happen. If you want something, be about manifesting it. This full moon is all about manifestations. Jupiter is about luck. Sagittarius is about having faith, believing in something beyond yourself and going for it. Now I'm going to stop share again. And I'm going to bring up the next card and uh, let's go to the screen share again. And 
let's see we've got that card conscious eating nourishes me and boy let's let, let me see stop share okay wait a second yeah share screen conscious eating i want to make sure that okay and i realize i'm going back and forth so that i can actually make sure these come through because sometimes i do these podcasts and these these share things i am very green here and i've got help coming oh my goodness and i cannot wait but conscious eating nourishes me uh for me right now this is critical covid i believe has brought about awareness of eating lifestyles that can make a difference i know that for myself as soon as covid hit spirit told me stop eating meat start taking magnesium pay attention, pay attention, drink lots of water. And I've heard a lot of people say that. Now, do I believe that I got a download? Yes, I do. I got a download from me. But does it mean that that download applies to everybody? No, it doesn't. So I don't want to stand on my self-righteous pulpit and say, oh, you know, you should be eating no meat, this and that, vegetarian, vegan, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't really have that right. It's it's my body. I have to decide for me what's best for me. And, and this is true for all of us. <clears throat> Conscious eating nourishes me. We haven't been taught that the pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, is what is how we stay healthy through natural means, not, not through going to the grocery store and buying processed foods that smell like, uh, like vitamins. In fact, if you, if you open up a box of, of, uh, uh, some of those sweet cereals, you, you get the smell of uh, uh, folic acid, which to me is just nauseating because it's not done right. I know it isn't. I find it really troubling that we think that that's nutrition. It is not. It's actually hurting us. But you can see here, nutrition is whole foods, whole foods. So keep that in mind in your day-to-day -day life. And again, I'm going to stop share and then I'm going to go back to share screen and then we're going to pull in the next card. And this is really important. I trust the mystery of life. We are, if we stop and allow ourselves the silence of the moment, being communicated with from something, of, and the crows are going to be something that's going to happen at the eighth house veil. It's, it's otherworldly. And notice the full moon and the bird that's flying in front of the full moon. He's saying, pay attention. We've got information for you. I trust the mystery of life. Let that be something you embrace. So without trust and faith, what are we really doing? All right, we're going to stop share again. And then we're going to go back and we're going to share one more time. And we are all sisters. Let's see, make sure that that didn't pull up. Stop share. I don't know why. Oh, there it did. There it finally. Okay, share screen. I don't know why, but it doesn't always pull up. Okay, we are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. And that is true. And I, I'm going to say something and I don't want to offend anyone, but I think it's important to be said. I'm finding those of us who claim to be spiritual, uh, the term that is used to describe us is witches. And in myself, probably I'm a white witch. I've been hearing for a long time that I was Wiccan. I mean, I, I don't even care really. It doesn't matter what, you know, the labels are. I'm not, I'm not really too concerned about it, but I'm seeing a lot of cattiness in it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of, a lot of darkness. I, I, in the, in those groups now, I strive to be genuine in who I am. And I and, and if it offends somebody, well, I can't really help that. It's not my business how you feel about me. It's really a reflection of how you see yourself. And so I, I'm, I'm going to say that. But if you're going to put yourself out there and you're going to call yourself help, check yourself at the door and remember what I just said. How you feel is none of my business. What someone else thinks of you is none of your business. And you need to have some thick skin to do this work because there's, we, we're all in pain. We're, we're kind of in a time where we have mass psychosis going on. And, and for good reason, if you have a system that says, okay, you're either red or blue. And if you're not, we don't like you. And, and if you're blue, we hate you. And if you're red, we hate you. You know, what kind of message is that? 
that isn't a message that's helpful to us at this time. We have a pandemic, we have uh, climate change, we have all kinds of things and, and, and we have leadership that's in total chaos and, and, we, and we're not working together very well. And it's not because we don't have good hearts and want to, it is because we've really not been taught to connect to our hearts. And in order to do what needs to be done now, we must connect to our hearts and we must lose the thin skin as, as spiritual leaders. We must lose that because we're not helping those who are in mortal pain. And I don't care myself politically, I don't care what side of the aisle you are on. And because I use the red and blue, I don't care. You know, deep down inside, you're more than a political person. You're a human that's having an, a, a, a human experience and you need support just like all of us. And we're all love, but we've been taught something different. So we're all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. Don't forget that. Do not forget that. And, you know, and I do, I'm going to admit it. I find it very disturbing. You know, all I have to say is one thing and, you know, people are just, wow, you know, but how they feel about me, what they think I'm doing or how they want to direct what I do is none of my business. They're not called to do my work, nor is anyone called to do yours. So be, be, d define yourself as you are. Don't let someone else don't, don't run with the crowd. Don't be a sheeple. You hear that term and, and it drives me crazy because it's used in such generic terms. I'm saying it not about politics. I'm saying it about be who you are. Let that inner essence come forward. Allow yourself to grab hold and become who you, you are meant to be. So we're going to stop share one more time and we're going to then share screen for the last part, the USA uh, chart. It's the USA Congress articles. So when the uh, Constitution was written versus the transits today. So we're going to use this chart to kind of get a feel for our week as in addition to that, that supportive message from the moon uh, oracle. Okay. So what we have right now in terms of the Constitution is that you can see in the 12th house that it's a dead hit. It's within 16 minutes in exactitude. So anytime we see this, this is notable, where this is saying within the institutions, the, the hidden, that something's dying. Something about the way government functions is dying or transforming. And you can see it, it in this particular sense that Capricorn, or yeah, it's in Capricorn, it's going to roll over and go into Aquarius. Pluto is, where it is going to transform the collective. Right now, what it is doing, it is transforming the hidden and unseen, the institutionalized ways that we have. And it's going to roll on into something new that is going to be about survival and, and transform us into being more aware. And it and and what did those cards say today? Well, they're, they're really saying, go back to your essence, connect to who you are. This is where we're being driven to go. We have, in addition to that, Saturn in Aquarius, where Saturn is kind of setting the stage right now and saying, yeah, we're, we're getting the, the parts all set up. We're bringing in the we're bringing in the collective into the first house and we're saying, yeah, it's going to be about survival, but survival for the good of humanity is where this is going. And I do like to use a more global way of seeing things because I'm not going to break down and get into horoscope charts. I, I just don't feel that they're beneficial enough to the public to really be worth your time. I mean, I could tell you, oh yeah, if you've got your ascendant here, it's Sagittarius, you know, and this bull moon coming up, oh, wow, you're going to feel it, you know, but that's really not true. It might, you might feel it. It might really be powerful to you but you might be so disassociated you don't even realize it's happening. So to tell you that it's gonna to happen to you isn't true. And I think that it does astrology a huge dis justice, uh, you know, with not telling people that not everything comes out smelling like roses because, you know, you got this ascendant, descendant, you know, whatever. So another thing about this chart that I find fascinating is the number of quincunxes. Now, quincunxes are parts of the story where it's kind of 
difficult. And you can see in the fourth house where this is going to be largely about family, where we're really struggling right now. We've got Uranus in, in where information's coming forward and, and astrologers have been talking about this and it's quincunx the sun and it's a large orb so it's really not <clears throat> as active it's it's kind of unfolding right in a quincunxial sense and we call uh, myself i call uh quincunx is the master's program basically that's where we get in and we really see the the, the, the good the bad the ugly within the chart how things are flowing or or not flowing and you can see there's a lot of quincunxial and it makes me nervous to see gemini in the fourth house as if they use the information of our family life our receptiveness as a means to manage us. And I think that that might be largely true as, as a, as a system, as a government, we have been managed. And, and then you look on over into the seventh house where that's exactly right. They wish to expand relationships, but how so? And you see moon in, uh, uh, they do it, uh, excuse me, I'm going to go back to the seventh house at, at Jupiter. They do it in a Leonian way, kind of a immature high school. Hmm, let's go out and have fun. You know, this could be great. You know, let's show you, hoo -hoo, you know, it's a game. We're going to play sports together. And it's and, and our, and, but you can see the moon is uh, transiting in Virgo, which for us, we've been in a medical crisis. And so this isn't really an appropriate style anymore. And it is exposing a truth that we need to see how we, so expect to feel and see that things are going to move more towards how we, how we function, bring in income and and i've been saying this for weeks and we might see a stimulus here pretty soon because i don't know that they can continue to ignore this issue we can't continue to feel like our government just doesn't care that we can't afford we, we either have to buy pills or we have to buy food we either have to buy buy pills and no gas and not, not leave home but we, we've got to go buy pills at the at the pharmacy, right? So you know, it's it's kind of getting into some impossible, right? When gas is five dollars, I live in Hawaii, so gas here is is getting up close to six dollars a gallon right now. So, <clears throat> and and to live here, you have to pretty much drive everywhere. I live on the Big Island, and I happen to live in the spiritual uh, seat of the Big Island, Javi, which means that. Everything I do re really requires driving, although I'm starting to get to where I'm walking places because one, it's good for me. And two, um, I just don't feel like I can afford the gas. And I think that that's true for all of us. And so let's just take a quick look at where's Venus in this chart, because Venus is going to be the money, the money uh, story here. Um, oh, where'd it go? Okay. Venus in the third house in Taurus. Yeah. It's money is really hitting the family hard. And, and if you look at the uh, 21 degrees, 10, it, it's in, it's in a completion project or it's 10 degrees, 21. So it means that it's completion and it, within the family and something new is going to probably be introduced and it's going to involve teamwork and it's going to take creativity to bring it forward because who knows what they're going to, how they're going to go forward for us. Um, <clears throat> and you can see sun on Uranus where they're, they're, we are starting to look carefully in that sense at what is happening in this humanitarian way, what information in the humanitarian sense within the family is coming forward. And there's a lot of information coming forward. We do need to be aware of what's right for the family. And with that, I am going to stop because there is enough here to to call it today and i don't like to have these videos too awfully long but i thank you very much i'm going to stop share for joining me and i ask that you hit the like share and subscribe uh and and uh, leave a comment Say your two cents worth. And next next week, obviously, we'll be discussing the full moon. But just get yourself ready. Go into some gratitude for what has gone right, <clears throat> right in your life. And thank you so much for joining me here today.